Hi, welcome to today's lesson. Today we are going to look at WASI 20, um, 2008, that's July. And the question is question number 15A is on Spearman's RAM correlation coefficient. Also in, the, in an examination, candidates were ranked in mathematics and English as follows. So the table has been given. And from this table, I, we are asked to calculate the Spearman's round correlation coefficients. After calculating that, the I, I is saying that we should interpret our results. Some questions will say describe the results. So interpreting that means we are supposed to describe the relationship between the two. Now, let's look at the question again. From the question, it says candidates were ranked. So from the question, it has already been ranked for you. Since it has already been ranked for you, we are going to write it in that order. But then, with Spearman's rank correlation, the formula for working on that is R of x is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma d squared all over n into bracket n squared minus 1. Rx is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma d squared over n into bracket n squared minus 1. So the n here is talking about the number of candidates that we have. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, so since it's already been ranked for you, we go straight to the point. So your x here becomes the ranking of x. Because as I said, it has already been ranked. The y here becomes the ranking of y. Then you need their difference. So D, what is ranking of X minus ranking of Y? Then the last thing is you need the D squared. So we have our table. So we substitute in this student. So we have nine, six, seven, two, five, one. 8, 3, 10, and 4. Then the y is 5, 7, 1, 4, 10, 3, 2, 8, 6, and 9. So that is the various rankings for x and y. Now the next one is we find the difference between the x and y. And that's 9 minus 5, you have 4. 6 minus 7, you have negative 1. 7 minus 1, you have 6. 2 minus 4, you have negative 2. 5 minus 10, you have negative 5. 1 minus 3, negative 2. 8 minus 2, 6. 3 minus 8, you have negative 5. 10 minus 6, 4. Then the last one, 4 minus 9, we have negative 5. The next thing is we square the D. So 4 squared gives us 16. Negative 1 squared, 1. 6 squared, we have 36. 2, negative 2, we have 4. Negative 5 squared, 25. Negative 2 squared, 4. 6 squared, 36. Negative 5 squared, we have 25. Negative 4 squared, we have 16. Then another 25. So you find the summation d squared. So we add everything here. So we have 16 plus 1 plus 36 plus 4, plus 25, plus 4, plus 36, plus 25, plus 16, plus 25. And the answer here is 188. So the summation d squared is 188. So now we have our sigma d squared, or summation d squared. So now we are going to substitute it into the formula to find the answer. So with the formula, 
as already stated, Rx is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma d squared over n into bracket n squared minus 1. We have 1 minus 6 multiplying uh, sigma d squared is 188 over the number of candidates is 10 into bracket 10 squared minus 1. So with this, the next thing is we can use calculator to solve it. So we have 1 minus 6 times 188 over 10 into bracket 10 squared minus 1. So our answer here is negative 23 on 165. So when you convert, you are going to get negative 0 0.1394. Negative 0 0.1394. And this is the value for our um, coefficient experiments run correlation coefficient. That's the value. Now, there's an I, 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 I is asking us to interpret our results. When you look at this value, the answer that's ranking of x is equal to negative 0 0.13. We are having a very weak or a very low correlation coefficient. Okay, we have a very low negative co um, correlation coefficient. So there is a very weak correlation between between math and English. So there is a very weak correlation between mathematics and English. And this brings us to the end of today's lesson. Continue to subscribe to Francois Mass Class on all our various channels. Have a nice day and bye-bye.